On the way to Yosemite, I gave myself a project. Photograph trees and rock and small things all in shadow. After setting up camp in Upper Pines Campground, which seemed to take up a very long, large portion of the afternoon, the idea was to head up to Tunnel View to watch the sunset over the valley. On the way there, it was decided to stop at Lower Yosemite Falls to hang out for a little while with the people milling around taking selfies. This is one of the gathering places of strangers in the valley, and it's a nice walk up through the trees from the Valley Loop Road. While there, I took an opportunity to prop up my iPhone on a log to capture this moving image of the falls. When I was finished, I took my iPhone to leave, but watched as a young woman with her two dogs took my place to grab a few images of the falls for herself. I couldn't help but take a photo of her in the process. During my travels, I have often taken photos of tourists and travelers documenting their visits. There are two paths to get to the lower falls and the one most traveled is the shorter one. Walking down this trail, there are a number of spots that beg to have their photo taken, and I often wonder how many people do. During the times that I have walked the trail, I never see other people with their cameras capturing the still lifes with rocks and trees. I love these compositions, hidden in plain sight. A crowd walks around me. Their only focus is the falls. Arriving at Tunnel View, the late afternoon light still streams across the upper cliffs of the valley. Photographers and their tripods line the stone wall of the lookout, waiting patiently, some of them drinking hot drinks from thermoses, waiting for the right moments to click their shutters. Children run around and parents take photos with their phones. Others take selfies with the valley in the background. For others, Yosemite is often like that, all about the selfie. As the sun finally sets, I attach my camera to my tripod. The images I would like to capture are just arriving. An even light, in shadow, with lingering sunset colors is now starting to appear. El Capitan stands stoic through it all. The valley transitions from day to night, from light to dark. Hoping to have the glow of twilight before the sunrise, to take a meditative walk around the valley, I instead rose with the sun after a chilly, sleepless night in my tent. The sun was just cresting half-dome as I set off on my journey with my camera, through the leaves to find trees and rocks and small things in shadow. This path is lined with ponderosa pine trees. Their bark is detailed with deep rivulets creating their own abstract landscapes up and down their long straight trunks. The landscapes appear if looked at when standing close to them. There are many images of the Yosemite landscape in my portfolio from past trips. Most were taken in the afternoon hours when the mountain light was the harshest. Not because I wanted to shoot during that time period, but because that was the time that I was there.
Walking the mist trail is no small feat, and I only made it to the first bridge at the one-mile mark. The trail seemed like it meandered straight up from the trailhead, and being a little overdressed for the hike didn't make it any easier, and I was already carrying my camera and small tripod. The walking sticks I happened to bring along helped tremendously. Even so, people zipped by me, effortless in their determination. There were large pockets of space when people disappeared, around corners, up the slope, way beyond me, and the people behind me had not yet caught up with me and passed me by. There were moments in the rock face that reminded me of paintings or artworks. The Rose by J. DeFeo, not quite finished. Something Cubist by Picasso, bold and heavy, a boulder cut apart and put back together in random fashion. The paved path cutting through the trees like a photographic Van Gogh painting. The walk down was no easier than the walk up, but I was pleased with my photographic essay of the short journey. Right now I'm on the Mirror Lake Trail going up. I really like this trail. It's just so peaceful. Nobody takes it. Everybody walks um, on the road because the road goes directly to the lake. But this, uh, this trail has some pretty nice spots on it. Um, if you go through my photographs, you'll see the ones I took last year. And I am going to look and see how things have changed since my last trip up here. So I took a photograph of this rock last year. I loved it because of how the path goes in both directions around it. Um, I kind of like last year's photograph better. I did take some this year to make a comparison. And I think that's one reason why photographers should uh, revisit places that they've already been to numerous times. Um, I think it's, uh, you'll find things that are the same. You'll find the things you love become different. And when you're in places you've been before, you'll still find things that you haven't seen before. It was the day after Thanksgiving, Friday, one year apart. Not the same exact date, but yes, the same day. Taking the same hike. Finding the same locations, the same yet different. Old snow from a week's old snowfall dots the ground this year. Yet the trees have more color than the last. It seems obvious that this year I may not have even taken these photos had it not been for the previous ones. Packing up, ready to go, it was time to leave the valley. On the way out, there were stops to make along the west end of the Valley Loop Road, where some of my favorite stands of trees live. Every time that I've been here, the trees seem different, and I get different images, never finding the same tree from before. The backlit black oak still had its fall color. The stand of evergreen trees are backed by a cold wall of granite. Nature is splendid everywhere, but especially here. Mm -hmm. 